we got a bit of the white stuff here, not very much. I think it's going to melt in the next day or so, forecast for rain. I'm going to show you uh, what was going on with my camper battery. The voltage was down on it, and I couldn't figure out why. I had my 3-watt uh, my panels on it for a total of 6 watts, my maintenance panels that I had out the front here. And uh, the battery was down to, I think, 11.8 at one point. And I was trying to figure out why it was draining. I fig I thought maybe the issue was that uh, the charge controller was letting power drain back through the, the solar panels, but that didn't make any sense. Uh, I figured the, the, so the charge controller would have a blocking diode there, so I'm not wasting energy um, you know, through the panels when the sun's not up. So that didn't make a lot of sense, but then I did figure it out. So I'll, I'll take you inside and I'll show you what the uh, what the issue was. So the first thing you can see is uh, my batteries are up to 13.1 uh, volts. I do have my two 6 watt panels um, on this uh, just as a maintenance panels. But I also had to put my charger on it. This is my, uh, my Genius charger. Um, I think I did a review on it. It's uh, not the best charger, it, it does work though, 3.5 amp. So I got my solar panels in here, which is not ideal, but they do collect some light and it's enough for a maintenance charge, even in the shade. So I'll show you what the issue was here. So down here, I got my NPPT charge controller, and then I also have my battery uh, tucked in here, and then the inverter, which you probably can't see, is right here, and uh, the inverter, um, I had it turned on, so I, I just turned the inverter on, the light just came on in the, uh, in the camper, I don't know if you can see the, <clears throat> the green light down there. What happens though is um, the solar panels charge it up to above 14.7 or 14.5 volts, I think, <clears throat> and the uh, the inverter auto cuts off at uh, high voltages, so it gets above I think it's 14.5, and then the inverter shuts off for safety reasons. So uh, what happens is then this green light here on my little inverter switch it goes red because it thinks it's over voltage but it's still drawing power um, even when it's even when it's red so <clears throat> so what happened uh, so it, it was still drawing power all that time when I only had six watts of panels on it and the six watts of panels wasn't enough to uh, at least during cloudy days to bring that battery back up to full charge um, you know when it was sucking juice 24 hours a day even though it's, it was a small load and even when the uh, <clears throat> even when the the power is off, the uh, the charge controller does take a little bit of power as well to run it 24 hours a day. So there's maybe a watt or two on the uh, on the battery <clears throat> that's kind of running full time, uh, you know, no matter what you're doing. And um, so I noticed uh, when my battery's down at 11.8, I realized, oh, it's because I'm leaving the inverter on, um, and even though it's not powering anything, it's still sucking power. And with my tiny uh, maintenance panel, uh, you know, my six watts of maintenance panels, which are in the shade and not uh, pointed at the sun directly, um, they are just not, uh, it's not enough power. I mean, it's not six watts. It, maybe, it's, maybe it's putting in two watts for a couple hours a day, and that just wasn't enough to keep up with the, uh, the charge controller draw and the, the inverter draw. So that's something I learned uh, when you got maintenance panels on on your uh, your solar system when you're not using it you do need to make sure you minimize or completely remove any other drains to the battery because um, they're gonna those other drains if they're uh, draining at 24 hours a day your solar, solar panels your your maintenance solar panels certainly aren't charging your battery 24 hours a day 
So something to think about, and that's that's what I found out uh, with my camper. So I got the oops, ouch. So I did, like I said, I got my Genius charger on it. It's been on for a couple days, so it's 100%. But this is a great little trickle charger. Um, it is supposed to desulfate batteries if it thinks it needs to. Although there's no visual indicator on the device that it is desulfating. And I don't know when it thinks it needs to. Maybe when the power is 25% or something. And this was at 25% capacity when I started charging. So Here's my maintenance solar panels from the outside of the camper just sitting in there. Kind of in shade right now. You can see the other one. It's behind a tree. It's sort of south, south facing. Sun's there. Again, not ideal. You know, the six watts total if they were actually getting full sunlight. But uh, they'll put in, you know, maybe between them, maybe they're putting in a watt. A watt an hour worth of power or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, that should be enough to power, to charge up the battery and, and power the, the charge controller. Because um, I don't think the charge controller drains a lot. You know, it's milliamps worth of uh, energy that it takes. Um, so this should keep it topped up as long as the inverter is not on in some shape or form. But uh, there you go. Here's a look at another two of my uh, little 3 watt solar panels. This is in my tractor shed. This is uh, charging up a couple small lawn, and lawn tractor batteries that I use for lighting in there. But this is the same as uh, what's in the camper. Same ones. They work pretty well.